Listen, I <laughs> I was changing my camera settings, and I have no idea how we finally landed up on purple, but hey, by the way, my hair's been purple for about two years now. <laughs> Want to know a fun fact? <laughs> Did you know that adults age 21 this year are actually one year younger than Shrek, the animated the movie? <laughs> Some memes. Also, be nice. <laughs> oh, boo! You didn't like my fun fact? What are you gonna do? Sue me? What's up, my beardos and weirdos? Good news! Fudge! Good news, everyone! <laughs> we raised a hundred thousand dollars for the Trevor Project. USD! I'd imagine we can do like a fireworks thing here, but like <laughs> with all the wildfires going on and how dry it is, you can imagine the news story, right? YouTuber doing charity gender reveal celebration burns down Canada. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> However, there was this deal that I made with all of you that if we raised $100,000 for the Trevor Project, a deal that all of you have kept reminding me about in the comments recently that I promised I would for the first time on this channel, swear. So, hey roommates, welcome the fuck home. <laughs> God, it sounds so aggressive. When I dropped the video on trans memes about a week ago, we were at $94,287 raised alone. And within an hour of publishing that video, when I was off hiking with Human One, here's a picture of me standing outside majestically. All of you donated $6,000 within an hour. I did not expect that. A bit over two years ago, after a ton of research, we started donating towards the Trevor Project. We even reached our first thousand dollars raised in February, 2021, just days after starting. I don't think we mentioned this anywhere at the time. I realized my microphone's a little bit in the way from where it usually is. Hang on a second. Am I centered? Oh, sick. <laughs> I uh, I don't think we mentioned it anywhere at the time uh, because Makeship was going to send out an email and I, I don't think it ever got sent, but both myself and Makeship donated half of the Grumpy OT plushie campaign earnings towards the Trevor Project. That was pretty cool of them. I also did a stream with Click where we played Minecraft together and his mods would summon Withers to come kill us every couple of minutes. Usually me. And then more. Oh God, oh God, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's oh, died. I'm dead. <laughs> And we raised quite a bit of money during that stream as well. Every few months when we've had a good month, I donate as well, which at this point is averaged out to about $4,000 a year, which has felt pretty amazing. I've never really been in a position where I could do that with my own money before. It's pretty neat. <laughs> the rest of all of that has come from you. We're gonna do something different for today's video. We're gonna go to our own subreddit. <laughs> and after that, I'm actually gonna put in a video that I don't think most of you have seen, which is kind of just me going over why this YouTube journey has been so important to me and why it's been so impactful to me. And then after that, I'm gonna put in a video that none of you have ever seen before of me looking at memes. <laughs> this might end up being our longest video ever on the channel. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, to our own subreddit. We've got, uh, let's do top this month. Let's go. Is that OT? Well, you, you got my thighs right. <laughs> One topic tweeted today, and I had the idea to enjoy. Oh, God dang it. Yeah, it's when we played the ghost hunting. Oh, whatever. I like it. <laughs> Arms for the poor. Yes. Every time we hit 69 members on the YouTube stream, I flex my arms. Let's go. First post here. Have some fan art. That looks so much like me. I love that. What the heck does my hoodie look like? I used to wear hoodies all the time, but I don't know if many of you remember, but sometime like maybe late summer, it was incredibly hot. We had a lot of forest fires here again. It was so warm down here. I started melting during recordings. And people were always like, why did OT suddenly get wet <laughs> so maybe no more hoodies we'll see how i feel in the winter time but maybe no more hoodies half tone is my passion is that what this is called with like the the dippling stippling stippling dippling the like dots is that what's called half tone that's so cool i love this <laughs> am i a muppet wait wait hang on 
Human one got egged. Yeah, for her stream. That was one of her goals. One, two, three. Yep, that's uh, that's how many eggs it was. Oh yeah, I saw this one from x -Trade. x -Trade has sent us a bunch of artwork before, but poof! Some of you don't realize how hard it was to peg the camera with a single shot with this little guy. <laughs> I've only got one shot, and then after that, it would have disappeared behind the monitors and been not seen forever. And this is pretty small. So if you'd like to see a bigger version, let me know. Hey, OT, definitely make another one of these with makeshift and make it bigger. <laughs> he, 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 he. <laughs> Feminism encourages women to leave their husbands, kill their, oh my God, destroy capitalism, practice witchcraft and become lesbians. Oh, let's flip and go. <laughs> All right, not seeing the issue here. Well, uh, mm. <laughs> okay now, okay. My third redraw of these two. It's been a while. Kind of cool to see how my style has changed since 2020. Oh my God dang it. I remember these. <laughs> I remember this one. Why? Why? Are, why? Why? I still love it, but why? <laughs> I just hope Nigeria doesn't allow this insanity to become legalized in the future. Let the West keep falling. That's their business. By the way, the Bible is against every form of LGTV. No true Christian is gay. The West has fallen. Oh no. Oh, colors are the enemy. It's the worst. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't have an LG TV. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Samsung in this household. <laughs> I made le meh meh. When you check your notifications and you missed OT's stream. <laughs> don't worry. It happens to the best of us. Meaning me. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. I'll get notifications like five hours after the stream has actually happened on my second account, the uh, next topic. But for whatever reason, for hours and hours, it gets delayed until usually after I've done the stream before it's being published. So if you want up to date notifications, join the Discord, I guess. God dang it, YouTube. Drew the snowball fight and added click. Let's go. I shared this on Twitter recently. This is from the video of me going around throwing snowballs with the guys. <laughs> Wonder where. Where are your shoes? <laughs> where are you? Where are your shoes? Where are your shoes? Come inside. I'm pretty sure I was in that hoodie too. I have no idea how you knew which pair of pants I was wearing. But that's exactly what I looked like. Jesus. I can't wait to recreate this. Click and I are definitely going to be having some snowball fights. We really watched this man make a biblically accurate microphone. All right. <laughs> yeah, if nothing else came from that video, at least we've got a little bit of a funny meme out of it. I. Whatever. It was just good to hang out with all of you and finally talk about some stuff. <sighs> Meme! Hey, stop right there, turf! Or the turf says that. Womanhood! I'm the gatekeeper around here and I say you can't enter! Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I get wrecked. <laughs> oh, is that Shen? Oh, I've really liked Shen's comics over the years. I found this on Facebook and had to bring it here. Forget me not fun fact. The yellow ring at the flower center fades to white after pollination, signaling to insects there's no more nectar. The insects therefore learn to visit the flowers that haven't been pollinated, ensuring no forget me not flower is forgotten. Ugh! Oh, <laughs> why did a flower make me feel? It's almost as cute as bees cuddling. <laughs> Rainbow capitalism at its finest. Star Trek dumb comics. Be proud at Quarks. <laughs> love is love. Well, uh, Quarks sort of found out about this old human tradition. <laughs> Lost DS9 season 8 episode plot. Quark becomes a rainbow capitalist. <laughs> Sorry, Odo. No cops at Pride. Blame the human tradition. <laughs> Slay at Quarks. Let's go. And we wouldn't want to disrespect tradition, would we? I haven't seen... Uh, I, I got the whole original series on DVD from the library so I could watch them, but I haven't seen most of the newer ones. I'm really enjoying Below Decks. Under Decks? Below Decks. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's a really good show. I uh, would recommend, if you're looking for an OT recommendation of what to watch, Below Decks or Under Decks, whichever. <laughs> Happy Pride Month! Team Rocket destroying gender roles since 1997. Let's go! James was always so excited to put on a dress. God, I love wholesome memes. We haven't been there in too long. We should go back to it. God, is my hair still... I don't know, start a counter for however many times my hair's goofed up. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, my weirdos and my beardos! Have me and my friend cosplaying click an OT! Oh, Kim. Sansu. 
<laughs> it looks so good. Ah, I've got a preference for this look, but both of you look amazing. Oh, I don't actually have any of Click's merch yet. I've got, uh, I've got Mango somewhere back there. I think it's next to Jamie. Is that it over there? I think it's Mango. But I don't have uh, any of his hoodies or anything. That's kind of cool. God, we don't have any merch. Occasionally I'll put out a plushie, but it does help. I'll say that it helps like balance out whenever YouTube demonetizes these videos, which is surprisingly often. If you'd like to fight back against the monetization, become a member of the channel today and start paying rent roommates. <laughs> there, that's the closest we've got. I don't have any merch plugs though. Pride is a great miracle. Vibe check. Type pride is and let predictive text show who you are this month. <laughs> this ended up getting a lot of likes. Were all of you doing it in the comics? Comics in the comments. Yeah, you were. Pride is in the woods and the other people are in that area and are they afraid of the moon? Am I a werewolf? <laughs> Maybe. I bring questionable knowledge. The wholesomeness scale. E uh, yeah. It doesn't say which one is more or less though. Different ends of the same spectrum, my friend. Accidental bisexual lighting. It's never accidental here. <laughs> oh, dang. You made a new one? Whoa. Oh, is this with my two-tone shirt? It's it. I'm wearing it. Oh, that's so. Wait a minute. No, the arms are dark and the front is, the middle is not. Very cool though. I like this. Thanks, OT. If you think you're faking it, you're probably not. Yeah, that's true. People are faking it. They know that they are and they don't question themselves as to whether or not they are faking it. So if you're ever wondering something about yourself and you think you might be faking it, just remember that people who are faking it definitely know that they are. Yo, we did it. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Six days ago, jeez. Just a few minutes after publishing the video, I was sitting there with Human One and I was just refreshing on my phone going, no way, there's no god dang way. But yeah, we did it. And I'm so I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> all right, let's go top by year. <laughs> all men are trans. If life begins at conception, then all men are trans. Until next time, friends. I remember the TikTok we were talking about with that. I made it into a short and a lot of people had problems with it, but this was removed for bullying. No, saying a dude is a chick <laughs> is just disrespectful to no. real women. Uh, you used to be a chick, <laughs> dude. Matter of fact, you're trans as <laughs> If you weren't born a woman, you're trans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. It was just goofy and for fun. Because like when you're a little malleable jelly bean, you could turn into anything. You look practically no different from how a dolphin looks. Pretty much the same. I'm not going to pull up a picture of what a malleable little jelly bean looks like, but just use your imagination. I added a second sign to my bathroom door for obvious reasons. Uh, okay, whatever. Just wash your hands. Super important. Also, wash your phones. The number of people who do not take their phones out of their case for like weeks at a time and who do not scrub and wash them. <laughs> so under that sign, you've got generalized pooping station. Oh my God, I love that. Do you know who made this animation, by the way? Mr. Weeble. Do you remember? Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. That's Mr. Weeble. Do you remember? <laughs> narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are. Same guy. Same guy made our intro animation. Uh, same guy made the animation that we use for our Twitch stuff. And we're getting a new one upcoming pretty soon, which I'm excited about. Also, this whole thing where you like, you take the internet and you make it in real life and you put it on a wall. I don't know what to make of that or think of it, but uh, <laughs> Are all of you making IRL memes with my content too? I don't know. Solving transphobia with two words. All right, let's go. Hang on. Okay, ready? You used to be a girl, and now you're a boy. And you're happy. Yeah, really happy. Sure, but listen. Can it? <laughs> Was he about to say something about Jesus? Jesus is like super famous for hating people for living their life honestly. Sure, but listen. Jesus. Voilà, c'était flash débat. And that's the flash debate. See you tomorrow. Perfect. Can it? <laughs> I unplugged myself. There we go. Oh god, I remember this one. Men should not wear women's clothing! Imagine needing the approval of other men to wear clothes. Do they not see how silly it looks sometimes when they're like, We're the most alpha men! Right, other guys? I need reassurances with you from all of you that I am the most man I can be. <laughs> if you're the most manly of men, why would it be women's clothing if you're wearing it?
Have all of you seen John Cena wear this? Would you say that this is women's clothing now? Hmm, maybe they're just clothes. Yeah. <laughs> New reaction image just dropped. I will literally sacrifice you to the gods you believe in. I find it ironic how it's always the ace videos that get demonetized for probably explicit content. Yep, it happens more often than you might think. <laughs> OT, no, don't do it. Ah, but I did do it. Oh no, God, oh God. Ugh. Ugh. The context. Well, how are you feeling, my weirdo or my beardo? <laughs> On a scale of one topic, how are you feeling? Hmm, hmm, hmm. God dang, my beard. <laughs> I, I should paint my nails again. Yeah, uh, ooh, I like that mug. That's a, that's a gift from Click, actually. <laughs> oh God, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Gender, Liam. OT uploaded, you're not a girl or boy? Markiplier uploaded, you are Liam. That's cool. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Definitely not me. Posting memes for the fun of it. Nah, posting memes in hopes that OT or Click will one day use them in a video. <gasps> it's just, <laughs> you, you got it. I did it. <laughs> My friend hasn't seen OT's latest video. We thank you. Oh, please confirm that is indeed Click. Yeah, that is indeed Click, an image that he already had saved that I did not need to edit. Why is he in a nut out? Why wouldn't he be in a nut outfit? <laughs> Look how proud he is of the plushies. Did you flip in hand draw this? That's incredible. You even did a reflection. Oh my God, that takes talent. Pink. <laughs> using the Drake format? No, 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 no. Using the OT format. Let's go. Wanted to make a fan art. Made it. Oh, that was when the lights fell off the wall. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. OT live. He made the mistake of flexing and I caught it and bask in his strength. Oh my God. <laughs> Press X to doubt. 13 year old me. No, I'm not gay. My closet. Mm. <laughs> Is it meant to be like a Disney closet? That's not easy to get your socks out of, right? No way. I, you're, you, how can you? I don't. That doesn't seem efficient. <laughs> Damn, every time. Allistics are weird. Allistic people are really like. <laughs> oh, hey, come here, fish. Step out of your comfort zone. Oh, bro, oh, bro, oh thank you so much. <laughs> it's been a while since we've covered a subreddit like this. I, I was thinking about going back. I had a funny little intro written out and I was ready to go back. And then I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I didn't. I'd really like to go back to that one. I was watching a video with auto-generated chapters and one is just called Gay People. Chapters, John Stamos. Did I talk about Stamos for a minute and a half? Gay People. Two 800-year-old kiss. YouTube, are you okay? <laughs> this ruined my day. Oh. Blind bisexual goose named Thomas who spent six years in a love triangle with two swans and helped raise 68 babies dies at the ripe old age of 40. Oh. There will never be another headline that comes close to comparing with this. There really will not. <laughs> oh my gosh. My friend just called capybaras guinea pigs and I will never be the same. You just can't unread that, can you? They seem so sweet. And I love that they're everywhere. And the news articles are always like, oh, hey, you thought they were gone, but now they're back reclaiming the neighborhood. You cannot stop them. They're too nice. <laughs> With the Barbie meme posters, it was destiny to make one for OT. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> A lovable bearded weirdo. All right, now. <laughs> Pokemon is short for pocket monster. How can I have a pocket monster if I don't have pockets? Oh, Birdamon, Ratamon, Pikachu, Caterpillaramon. <laughs> pocket monsters. I love that. That's so clever. Thanks, OT. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good one. Oh, I remember this. Oh, it's nine months ago. Happy birthday to this post. People get pretty surprised that I go out and I watch the stuff that all of you tag me in. But like when you tag me, I get a little notification and I do my best to go through as many as I can. Try not to flood my notifications, but like if you make a video about me or you clip stream and you make a really cool short out of it or something, I'm going to watch it. They're pretty cool. A lot of you are very creative. The only boomer comic I like. Ha! Ah, what would Jesus do, sinner? Turn back, repent or burn! Pride Month Parade. I'll forgive you. Aw, oh, dang it, Jesus. It's weird. It's weird what people try to do in the name of Jesus when really, I feel like he'd be pretty chill, honestly, with people just generally living their lives and being normal humans and just loving one another. Why would people think that Jesus would be up in arms at, at that? That's... 
Shut up. I made OT with the LGBTQA plus shield and Hero Forge. Yeah. God, Hero Forge is so cool. I meant to I meant to order one like three years ago when I started 3D modeling myself in their pro oh, I got blue hair. <laughs> I started modeling myself in their uh their online like 3D portal. This is not an ad for them, but like you can create your own custom characters in there. And I don't know if you're making your own board games or actually playing Dungeons and Dragons, but it's so easy to do. He will be spared when the uprising begins. Here, little duck <clears throat> Here, little duckies, have some bread. There's a lot of you today. One topic. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, no. The time has come. Oh, wait, hang on. I got a voice for this. The time has come. Do not fear, stale bread man. You have fed us. You will be spared. Am I the stale bread man? <laughs> come on now. <laughs> These memes are fresh. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Whoa, whoa, chill. What have the pants ever done to you? It has fake pockets. <gasps> <laughs> hashtag stop all fake pockets. By the way, stop writing hashtag in the comments. Stop it. They go to like banned words. YouTube thinks they're bad. They're like links to stuff. Just write hashtag stop fake pockets. OT, OT, <laughs> OT, AKA one topic, our respect, queer peeps. It's pretty weird to see memes referencing me or literally with my name crop up on other subreddits where y'all are talking about me. Like it's, I don't know, whatever. Shut up. I like all of you too. Okay. Whatever. The two genders. Select your gender. Are you A or B? <laughs> Obi-Wan or Anakin? There they are. The two genders. Only a cis deals in absolutes. All of life and history aligned for that one joke. We're done, everyone. Go home. I'm a pretty big fan of Star Wars. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> kind of looks like one topic if he was a bad boy demon. Oh, dang. Um, huh. <laughs> I have that jacket and, and these pants and pretty much those boots. Like, if I really wanted to, I could go into the other room and recreate this look pretty quickly. <laughs> Battle tested. If you date a left-handed person as a righty, it means you can hold hands together while also holding swords. Yes. Yes. However, if you do this and you're holding swords together as you're fighting off the enemies, you realize you have to be facing the same way. If you're holding the non-dominant hand of your partner in the opposite hand, you want to have the same dominant hand so that way you can face opposite directions. <laughs> See, blank. Oh, I remember this. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to lie down on the seabed of the Grand Cayman. Blanky. See, blanky. <laughs> I have my sea. Hang on a second. I got stuck. Hang on. Oh, God, my butt. Oh, jeez. And... Okay. Oh, no, I turned. Oh, no, I turned. Oh, don't hit the wall. Oh, my God. Oh, you remember this? I got sent my own sea blankie. A, a whole stingray. We ended up nicknaming the stingray pancake. But, like, look at this. Someone spent a heck of a lot of time making a whole heckin' sea blankie for me just because we looked at one of these memes. How cool is that? There we go. I love my little pancake stingray sea blankie. <laughs> and if you want to send me stuff too, like what we have on the shelf back here, which is stuff that was sent to our P.O. box, we have a P.O. box. So if you want something to get over to me or over to Human One, you can send it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> My bestie, little Sammy, made an appearance in an OT video a couple weeks back, and I promised her I'd make a comic of it, so here it is. Sip egg. Oh, 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 this one! That was a short. I remember that. <laughs> Sammy, you're famous! I think I got tagged on Twitter, too. All of you are so funny sometimes. I've been tagged by a number of people that are like, I got 20 DMs that I'm in an OT short. What's going on? <laughs> I can see why some of the bigger creators, as they get larger and they create more content, why they start censoring out people's usernames when they're posting stuff. It's just pretty neat when the whole community comes together as like a wave of positivity and just tag someone and let them know they're in a video. It's kind of neat. Aw, OT fan art. Aw. I remember taking this picture and I decided to Photoshop in summer palm trees into my sunglasses. Dang it, you all are talented. I felt like this was meant to be here. And you don't remember someone's name. Oh God, I don't know this person's name and I've had several friendly conversations with them. Hi Carl, just wanted to let you know I came out as trans recently. You can call me Rita. Oh, <laughs> hi Rita, how are you? Got lucky with that one. Let's go. <laughs> Reading the prettiest platypus and I found 
found OT in a dino costume. Ha, <laughs> you're a strong witch, Mimi. Let's leave the tiebreaker game to a chance of game of chance. Oh, hey, there's me. Neat. Oh, I'm in human ones onesie though. Oh, yep. There it is. Yeah, that's that's more that's more a human ones chomper look, but I like it. Last night at dinner, my sister said that she had a girlfriend now, and our uncle said encouragingly, <gasps> a girlfriend? To coax more conversation out of her, and my sister gave the peace sign reflexively, prompting my uncle to say without pause, two girlfriends? <laughs> uh, that's cute. <laughs> Ooh, nice dress. Ooh, nice dress. Uh, thank you. Hi! It's all right. You can say it. It has pockets! <laughs> Film this on Pinterest. Psychologists hate him. He gives free therapy. No. Shut the front door. I do not give free therapy. Oh my God, that's an old screenshot. It's, oh God. On Pinterest? What am I doing over on Pinterest? I'm not on Pinterest. What are all of you doing? Don't mind, OT. I was watching his stream, but I saw this on Pinterest. What am I doing on Pinterest? And I thought it was funny. The 80s wear, the gays look like this. Okay. And the streets like this. Yeah, hair metal bands. And oh, oh, am I an amalgamation of the two? That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll just, you know what? A little bit of Pinterest as a treat. Okay. Me. You already have plushies at home. Stop. I know, but I don't have these. Oh, our little keychains. It's really fun working with Makeship. And all of these plushies are from Makeship. I have the majority of them, which is pretty cool. I even have the old click and the new click over there somewhere. I think Click over there. Yeah, it clicks next to Salty. Oh, Salty's in there. Oh, very cool. In the Grumpy OT. I was the, oh God, it's it's been pretty hard to decide whether or not I want to bring back a Grumpy OT or if I want to bring a Dino OT, like full size to market, but it's been fun trying to figure that stuff out with all of you. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I might start a poll in the future so we can really like hash this out and see what we're looking for, but they are working on some designs with me. They've actually sent me off a couple designs and I'm like in the process of approving or denying them right now. I just have to write them back. I forgot to do it. I, I recorded this video. I meant to write them back. Haven't done it yet. Recording this instead. <laughs> OT is a gift to this world and you can't change my mind. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in this universe. The only constant is suffering. Minutes later. Oh my god, OT! God, I was so happy with that. That's when we got grumpy OT for the first time. Oh, I've got sweet Anita's bunny back here. Yeah, it's somewhere on the shelf over there. I've got Sweet Anita's bunny. This seems like OT in Human 1. <laughs> Nerds. Yeah, that does seem like us. Hey, what are you up to? Roar! Look, if you're gonna be doing weird nerd stuff, you gotta include me. Every time I boot up Minecraft, she's like, when are we gonna play Minecraft? Ah! Ah! God, OT. Oh, Jesus Christ. You better punch him right now, human one. All right, that's enough of our subreddit for now. I'm actually going to play that short video I talked about. It was just me talking about how doing this with all of you has literally changed my life. I want to play that here. And then uh, after that, we're going to go look at more memes. So we're going to do that. Okay, video, then more memes. I don't think I've ever told you this before, but I'm going to tell all of you this. Would you like to hear something that's actually kind of personal and 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 hurt my feelings and stuff when I was like younger? You want to know? You want to know a secret, secret OT story? Okay. Secret OT story. When I was a kid, one of my biggest, biggest dreams in the world was to be an actor. And I used to watch and rewatch things again and again and again and memorize every single one of the words. I used to memorize the different scenes. I could be, I could be able to tell you so many different things off the back of my head. I could, for example, a game that I really enjoyed that had a ton of talking in it, which I wasn't used to because of all the cinematic sequences, which were a new concept to me at the time, like Halo, I could play with my eyes closed and tell you exactly the, the route to take in every single scene, even if I was like, sometimes my friend would call me and say, hey, OT, how do we get, how do we complete this level? And I'd be like, oh, I turned this way, this way, because I remembered everything based on how they would talk about different things. But my dream as a kid was to be an actor to do acting. I wanted to be in a Star Wars-esque thing and I wanted to star in zombie films. Those were my two big things I wanted to do space and I wanted to do zombies. But two important things got in the way of that that I think nepotism probably would have helped with. <laughs> One, we 
didn't have the money for me to not just work all the time. You know, didn't didn't grow, didn't grow up with money, didn't have money. So the thought of having like downtime from working, downtime from acting, and like many months to potentially years between gigs, not even feasible. That's one big thing that got in the way. But I thought, you know, maybe I could still make that work if I got really lucky and I had like a good job for a few months or something. Maybe I could stretch it out. Maybe I could have like off hours and stuff. I could be like, you know, an occasional worker. The other thing that hit was when I was younger and uh, I was assessed for why I was doing so poorly in school because I'm dumb. But like, <laughs> but we found out it might, might not just be due, due to my intelligence or lack thereof. But also, I uh, found out when I was much smaller that I was dyslexic. And one of the difficult things that meant was that I had a very hard time. Um, I had a very hard time with reading things correctly and memorizing things correctly that I was reading. So something that would be an insurmountable thing was... For example, when I was in a school play, I could not read my lines and then remember them and then voice act them out. And I talked about it at the time and they said, yeah, you could probably never be an actor. Ah, ah stab to the heart of my childhood self. And I thought I'd never, ever be able to be an entertaining individual or figure. My advice that I received back then, you know, by guidance counselors and stuff, they told me that I should probably work in a morgue. <laughs> like, oh, cool, OT, you like art stuff? You could go work in a morgue, You like do makeup and stuff. And that way you don't have to like deal with people or like talk a lot. You can be quiet. You just hang out by yourself. That seems nice. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> But they also told me like janitorial duties would be really good. Remember when you take those tests and they would like categorize you into different job roles and stuff? We didn't have that as much as we had guidance counselors that would tell you what kind of like field you should go into. And the fields they said I should go into were like learn a trade or clean toilets. Those were like the two big things that they told me. And I had no idea where to go with jobs, what I'd be capable of. But what I knew in my heart of hearts that I would never, ever be capable of was acting on camera. I knew because of my limitations that I would never, ever, ever be able to do anything on camera ever. That I would never be able to start a YouTube channel. That I'd never be able to start a Twitch channel that I'd never have anyone that wanted to hang out with me while I did stuff on the internet. And I knew that was true for so long until it wasn't. And now I do stuff on camera. Now I even remember people in chat. And when I tell you how much things mean to me, like that I'm able to do this, I want you to know from how deep down I actually say that. And I want to tell you that every time I remember people in chat and I remember their names and I'm able to remember specific things about them from having read them before, I want to tell you from how deep down that happens too. A lot of things were impossible for me for so long. Never have happened. And then I found all of you. And now, all I can ever do is tell all of you not to give up on your dreams. Because no matter how many obstacles are in your way, holy fudge, there are still ways of achieving what you want to. I promise you can do it. Anyways. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being you. Thanks for... I know when I say like, oh, it's always been a dream to be on YouTube. When I say this has always been a dream of mine, 
I don't just mean like, oh, I used to look at YouTube and be like, I wish I could do that very specific thing. I just want all of you to know how much that statement encompasses when I say that this was my dream. Anyways, I try not to get into my feels too often on, uh, you know, while we're live and whatnot. So why don't, why don't we play some video games? Why don't we, why don't we play some video games with our friend Click? How about we do that? Why don't, why don't we do that? We'll play games with Click today. How about we do that? <laughs> How about we do that? Okay, everybody. And now the video of me looking at memes that none of you have seen before because I never got around to uploading it. <laughs> All right, let's just let that play here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are on the second channel. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? Hi, friends. I don't remember how we do intros on this side, but I decided I would take some time out today to look at the subreddit with all of you and take a minute to look at all of the memes all of you have been posting. <laughs> it's been a minute. I, ha I did not intend for it to take this. Oh my God. Is Can you hear my fan? Sorry about that. <laughs> I did not intend for it to take this long for me to come back to the subreddit, but I, I am back. I have slept. <laughs> All right, let's look at some memes. Society, when you tell them you're ace and non-binary. Your soul is mine. Soul sucking sounds. Soul sucking sounds. Huh? <laughs> oh no. Ah, the four genders. Boys, girls, baby, and textiles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a is that a baby? Okay, okay. Why is there a baby under textiles? Apparently, that is an option. <laughs> Select your gender. Hello there. Oh man, I can't I can't remember what he said. I don't know. <laughs> Thought about posting some fan art here for a Whoa! whoa my pants! <laughs> okay, to be fair, my eyes got caught on the hair first, and then the uh, sunglasses, the beard, and then the whoa! Okay, I love this. <gasps> finger waggle of shame! Oh, that is so cool. What is this? What what expression is that? Is that me doing finger guns? Get the dinos! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I don't know if you can, can you see them? They're there, right? <laughs> They're coming out soon. I'm really excited. OT said recently that he wanted to star in a zombie film. I did! That's so cool. Oh, you can see the zombies in my sunglasses. twitch Asaurus. holy jeez, you did a great job. That's really cool. Spider human one to match with OT. Wait, what? This post was removed to Reddit spam filters. We had such an issue with that a few months ago where like every post was getting even mine. <laughs> I think I'm listed as the owner of the subreddit, but I'm definitely a mod on there. And even my posts were getting removed. You might notice I'm a little bit out of breath today. My asthma is acting up. Everybody, I'm okay, but. <laughs> All right, let's look at the post. Who does human one as spider human one? Oh, oh, human one changed her name to hey human one. But yeah, that's amazing. Oh, Denblep is the one who made the artwork of me as Spider-Man. That was so cool. Denblep, you're such a talented artist. I love this. I cannot wait to, actually. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna send it to human one right now. <laughs> oh, she sent me something. X Street! Oh my gosh, look at this! It's actually these guys! Oh, hang on, see, other way around. There we go. <laughs> I love that. X Street, what a great job! Yeah, makeshift is selling them. They they said everyone they should expect keychains, but they're like they're full on pocket plushies. Like, look how big that is. I don't know if the lighting's good. My viewfinder's like this big, but like, look, <laughs> they're so cute. And they're gonna be like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. They're not gonna be super expensive. And for a custom plushie, that is so amazing. I don't know, but I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? I... <laughs> Thank you so much, x for the artwork. That is so cool. So, are you like gay or something? What? What pride flag is that? <laughs> I peeked. I saw it. <laughs> I looked down and I saw myself looking back at me. What? What is that pose? I think you caught me mid what's up, my beardos and weirdos. <laughs> that is so silly. Who posted this? Sleepy cat. And thank you. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there's me. Yeah, this is, uh, I posted this actually. Yeah, I'm on the subreddit. <laughs> I went up to Pride. I had such a good time. Pride here in Canada. We have like all of our parades and events and whatnot, like a month after they are in the state. So if you ever like touring around 
around the world. Look up when every region has their pride parades because you could go like you could probably spend like four months traveling the world going to different pride events. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun here. I really loved it. Met up with some friends. We had a really good time. Cat and a dog are best friends. Really? Okay. Oh, that is a big cat. Whoa. Oh, he's, oh, don't eat his face. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't even phased that time. So big. That's a huge cat. <laughs> oh, they're sharing. That's too cute. I love them. Yeah, when I say I want to see a cat and a dog and them to be best friends, that's that is what I'm picturing. I love this. This is when I tweeted about the keychains. I think we posted this in February. So we've been working on them since last year in December. And like, they're only just now coming out. COVID is the worst. <laughs> my friend actually showed me one last week and it made my day. No. Nobody offers to show me a cool rock they found anymore. Adulthood is so dumb. <laughs> I like cool rocks. Human One found one of my cool rocks in a box the other day and she was like, OT, what is this? And I was like, it's a fossil. It's a bone and it's very cool. Speaking of which, what's your favorite dinosaur? You know when you're a kid and they're like, oh, how fast do your shoes go and what do you want to be when you grow up? What's your favorite dinosaur? That's my that's my best question. I want to hear it. Does anyone still pick pterodactyl? Not from me. No one. Phones in girls' pockets. <laughs> They're always hanging on it. Okay, do you know the image of the phone that's only being held up by the singular thread? And then when the camera zooms in and zooms in more, it's Spider-Man holding the thread together. Hashtag stop fake pockets. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh my God. 11 months ago. Okay. We, we might be doing this again. <laughs> I had so much fun. Last year I spent my birthday on Twitch and I got to hang out with all of you and it was such a good time. Yeah. I think I'll do this again. This artwork was originally made by the artist that actually designed Grumpy OT. Thanks Amari. Not sure if this has been posted here before, but I thought y'all would appreciate this. LGBT. LGBT. All right. Let's Get down to business to defeat the Huns. Oh, that's a flip book too. That takes so long. Have you ever made a flip book? They take ages. Hero Forge OT. What the fudge? You made a tiny 3D me? Why are my shoes so awesome? <laughs> what are you doing? That's so cool. With the original sunglasses too. Yeah, I don't think the... Oh, they do actually. Okay, maybe they're the ones that I'm wearing. I, I had an original pair of sunglasses. Uh, they, they're from the same people. Um, they actually plant a tree with every pair of sunglasses that you get. A tree. The company that sells these sunglasses ah, plants a tree for every pair that's sold. So if you do get one, there's a discount code and whatnot. Anyways. Ah, yes. The three sexes. Dress, nude, and super speed. I appreciate toilets that just do not care who goes in them. Everybody poops, I swear to God. <laughs> OT in a dress and human one in a suit. What is this? Oh my God, I love this so much. She's gonna love this. Okay, I'm not gonna send her this. I'm gonna tell human one to cover this subreddit. I really like this. All of you, oh, who made this? Ninjao Animation, thank you so much. She's gonna love seeing this. Oh wait, am I in a... I'm in a dress. I thought it was a kimono for a second. Okay, that's that's fair. Sometimes people draw me as a samurai, but dress is nice too. How is it? Okay. I don't know. I don't think I taste as good as I used to. Really? Let me check. <laughs> no, you still taste good to me. <sighs> Wholesome grandparents being wholesome. Hero Forge. Oh my God, I think, again. I gotta make one of these. I've got wings. What the heck? <gasps> Little 3D model. I love it. That is so cool. Oh, I gotta, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't trim my hair before this video. I should have done that. My bad. Best friends, a cat and a dog are the best friends. Oh, oh, you're petting the dog. Oh, you're giving the dog a hug. Get out of here. That's too cute. Wait, is the cat on the dog bed? <laughs> the cat's completely taken over the dog bed. Look at that. And the dog doesn't mind. The dog's just put its head on the dog bed. Thank you for sharing these. I really like these. How different Canadian provinces react to heavy traffic. The last one gives me OT vibes. Let's open it up. Oh, I know this guy. I think I follow him on TikTok. <laughs> Jesus 
Spot. Is Fort Mac burning down again? Where the f*** did all this traffic come from? What Alberta. the f*** is up with this traffic, bud? Shouldn't you guys be at home <laughs> beating your wives or something? Saskatchewan. Oh, man, this is, there's a lot of traffic. Is there another fire? Nah, there's a flood this time, man. Oh. There's got to be another way to get to Nova Scotia. Get the f*** out of my province, bud. Holy oh my shit. gosh. Am I missing a sale at Micmac? What the f*** is going on right now? F*** <laughs> you. F*** you. Ontario, you. chill you. out. But still, f*** you. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, new fees. <laughs> Have you bums never seen a murder scene before? Oh, I didn't see that. It's a cobra. Chicken equals a Canadian goose. They're not dangerous. Get out of here. I keep driving. Manitoba. Oh, PEI. There's got to be at least seven cars up there. <laughs> now I see why you mean that last one remind. No, but I'm. I wouldn't mind living in PEI actually. It's like the last area that's actually affordable in Canada. <laughs> They're best friends. Cat and the dog. Oh wait. Are you stealing that kitten? Are you, st are you stealing that tiny cat? What are you doing? Oh, being so gentle. <laughs> okay, all right. You just want to look after it? Oh, were you worried about it because it was on the edge of the couch and you wanted to keep it safe? Yeah, saving it from the edge of the couch. Oop. <laughs> you made it fall anyways, though. Hashtag stop fake pockets. The feminine ability to carry everything in our hands due to our lack of pockets. That is so... F <laughs> I've seen people post about this. But that is so many things. I just usually have a backpack with me. I don't know. Like, yeah, okay. I can fit like a horse in my pockets. But what if you need to carry two horses, okay? Backpack time. Hi, I have a thing to say. Lol. What do you call a transphobe at the beach? I don't know. What? Surf and turf. Until we meet again. Hello, oh, Mal. Sleep, adapt, repeat. OT therapy room. It's an occupational therapy. Okay. I cannot believe my eyes. 10 million fireflies. <laughs> I just wanted to draw one topic and the click in Animal Crossing. One being normal and sane, the other not so much. Got lazy with coloring it lol. Which one's normal? I'm stalking a butterfly over here. This is really cute. I like this. I wonder if you've seen this yet. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna send it over to click. And you could have it all. My empire of turds. <laughs> Aww. Kathy uh, bears are literally the best animal. They're so friend shaped for every other animal. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are. I see all the efforts you make, and I am proud. Aww. Made me smile. I haven't been to that subreddit in a while. Should I cover that one again? Should I cover for here? I don't really go through subreddits on the second channel. That'd be kind of fun though. Maybe I could make some like short videos over here. I think that'd be a blast. Thought OT might like this. Hope it isn't a repost. <laughs> what if we kissed on the broom and we're both cats? Aww. <laughs> oh, they're friend. Oh, another friend. They were broommates. Okay, I think I have seen this. Oh my God, they were broommates. I don't care if that's a repost. I love seeing these. Today slash night was bad. It's okay. When the sun comes out, you'll work it out. So remember to eat something one step at a time. All right. Reminded me a lot of OT's wholesome wisdom. Get out of here. I don't have any wisdom. I know OT and human one saw the recent video and couldn't help but make. I've seen this. Oh, this was so good. Human one would be so stoked to see this. All right. I'm not going to share it with her. I'm going to tell her to cover the subreddit. I may or may not have read this in OT's voice. Feminism encourages women to leave their husbands, kill their children, practice witchcraft, destroy capitalism, and become lesbians. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> For the tally on things that are believable, feminism encourages women to leave their husbands. Great. Practice witchcraft. Fantastic. Destroy capitalism. Wonderful. <laughs> Become lesbians. Amazing. The other one, I, I somehow I doubt that. I found this on a used item shop and I want to get it, but it's not my size, unfortunately. Wait, buy rates? Buy pirate subreddit? Amazing. Sipping on Gatorade. I love that. So good. What girls really want. Girls don't want just any pockets. They want on industrial pockets to fill with cake, nice rocks, pirate weapons, and a baby dragon they found. What? Oh no, we didn't load your topics, but I'm right here. <laughs> Two bros. <gasps> They're in a hot tub. They're in a hot tub. I have to put on my headphones immediately. Hang on. Bros chilling. Two bros chilling in a hot tub. Because they're not gay. <laughs> We're literally married. 
This yawning little fella. Aww. I love toads. Oh, look at you go! You're so cute. Aww, so sleepy. First time posting on Reddit, and it's fan art for this guy. I'm this guy. Oh, the pink background actually looks pretty good. Maybe I should swap back to that. Am I a ghost? Is he even one a witch? This is literally her aesthetic. She would love it if I was a ghost and she was a witch. She'd be so happy. <laughs> I think the background was pink because she was streaming beforehand. I think that's what happened. Pink background, orange over there. This might be, yeah, I think I remember the, which the video this was, but I think that on the night that I recorded it, because I recorded it really late. This was after a human one was streaming. So all of the lights was set up for, for her setup instead of what I normally have. I think my cat just became best friends with my neighbor's new dog. There's the cat. There's the dog! Oh, they're so fast! They got the mutual zoomies! That's really cute. <laughs> Aww. This is the animal version of OT! We pretty much just saw this toad a second ago, and I agree, it's very grumpy. Just like me. Supportive grandma! My grandmother tried to go to the movies yesterday and accidentally got caught up in the Chicago Gay Pride Parade, and she had the time of her life and wants to go as a family next year. Oh my god! Wholesome grandmas, I swear. <laughs> Found on Pinterest, gave me OT vibes, and they were roommates. <gasps> oh my God, they were roommates. That's cute. I haven't seen the film yet, actually. It's on my list with Human One. We're gonna watch this. Oh, whoa, this was fun to draw. This Anne? Anne makes amazing artwork. The majority of our emotes are actually from the Anne mine. Fantastic artist. Thank you, Anne. OT, never heard of him. Oh, one topic at a time. Ah, that's cute. <gasps> The unicorn! You might have actually seen like the intro video and outro video on the main channel. It has a unicorn in it. And at the very end, it has like, it, the unicorn does like a little it's, it's really cute. But that was designed by Mr. Weeble. But he opened up his commissions a while ago and I saw that and I'm like, I am, I am taking advantage. Draw me as much as you can. I was watching one of OT's videos and capybaras kept coming up. So I decided to draw a few in the color scheme of the channel. <gasps> Hope you like it. I love this. You drew all this? That's very cool. They're best friends. Get a dog and their best friends. I don't care if all of you send me like a thousand of these videos. I'll never get tired of them. I'm so happy every time I get to see this kind of stuff. I love that the cat doesn't get annoyed, but it's just like, okay, more cuddle time. Made some art for OT and Human 1. There's me with my mug. Oh, that's me talking about demonetization in the Ace video. I know this one. It's my little Moomin mug. And there's Human 1. Oh, that was such a good picture of her. I know that's Kim that made these. Thank you, Kim. There's me! First time posting fan art. It's not perfect, but it turned out okay. I love this. I actually know this picture. That's from a heckin' long time ago in a video where I just, a little heart hands for everybody. That was in the old area that I was recording in. Generalized pooping station! Yeah, this is the ideal. This is how everything should be. First YouTuber fan art I've done. And of course it had to be OT. Very cool. Oh yeah, I gotta paint my nails again. Thanks for the reminder. I like it. It's a cat and a dog and they're best friends. Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. It's a kitten. When she leaves me for Kai, oh, the kitten was cuddling with the human. Now the kitten wants to cuddle with the dog. Aww. OT in my style. What do you think? That's me. Why is my, oh, that, okay, that's what hit me is that I don't have a nose and my beard was coming up a little bit high on my nose area. It does look like me. You really pulled it off. The messy hair, especially. I do my best to not style my hair before I make a video. I feel like if I have messy hair and I just wear comfortable clothes the whole time that people won't really worry about needing to dress up for watching my videos, if that makes sense. Like sometimes I'll watch other people's videos and they look so buttoned down or buttoned up, buttoned down or up, both. <laughs> and I'll feel like I'm underdressed at all times. I'm like, dang, they look so good. And I bet if I wore different clothes, I'd be looking good too. I just want all of you to feel comfortable while you're watching my videos. In fact, if you're in a blanket burrito, I think that's like the ideal scenario to watch these videos. OT fan art, protect LGBTQ plus. Yeah, all of you remember that I train with a sword? So I'm a digital artist and traditional artist. I made this a while ago. The one agents, code names one topic and human one. Are we secret agents and human one's a dinosaur? Some more art. Oh, Kim again. There's me and me and me and me. They're all me. That's why it's art of me. <laughs> Canada dog and the best friends. I feel like this whole video has a theme now. I love it. Okay, that's the one thing I don't like. I don't like it when owners stick their cameras or their phones really close to the animals that are doing something cute. Don't interrupt the moment. Record it from afar. Don't get closer. No, now the cat's interrupted. Okay, I can't. Using my now official account this time. Samurai OT. Wow. 
Uh, I think this artwork's based on a picture of me at the beach, actually. Did a great job. It's really good. Did some paints of OT and Human 1 secretly wanted to share. Secrets out. They look good. Human 1's dino outfit. <laughs> okay, okay. I love this, but this is when the lights were broken behind me. <laughs> so like, they wouldn't like change color. They wouldn't light up. They're, they're a color today, which is good. I spent a whole morning fixing them and making sure they reconnect to the Wi-Fi and whatnot. But yeah, they were broken for a while. OT needs to see this. And so should you, not mine. Our last foster litter arrived without a mom. Oh, little kittens. So we thought we'd let our puppy meet them. Okay. Being so gentle, doing little steppies around them. My heart couldn't prepare for how much he'd love them. So we had to keep one for him. He got to keep a best friend. Now they're friends and inseparable. Oh, I wonder if you can take them to hiking together. Have you seen the Instagram page of the cat and the dog that go hiking together? And the dog like wears a little backpack and the cat will like sit in the backpack when it doesn't want to hike anymore. That's my ideal. I would love to do that. How could OT do this? Outro boob, Dan. I remember this. <laughs> Um, my friend Dan was editing a video for me. I thought I thought he was gonna edit a number of videos, but he ended up getting famous or whatever. So now we just stream together on Twitch. But oh, he did such good jobs, and he he cut out one of the outro boops, and people were like, "Well, where is it?" <laughs> and Dan was like, "How could OT do this? I don't know." <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Actually, that's a really good meme to end today's video on. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me and watching as we went through the subreddit together. Post. More memes. I, I reacted to Ikea Heights for a while. I have a few more episodes coming out of that. I reacted to Hell's Kitchen, which I think is still upcoming and kitchen nightmares oh i think it was kitchen nightmares actually and hotel hell that's what it was we have so many new videos coming out for this channel and it it's really cool that i could just put up random stuff and all of you are having a good time with it so thank you for that has my hair been like this the whole time all right there's no saving it now all right my beard and weirdos Thanks for being my roommates. Thank you so much for participating in the charity run we did for the Trevor Project. Raising that $100,000 is pretty amazing. Get out of here. Boop! All right, I almost forgot the boop. Now, now get the fudge out of here, okay? <laughs>